Hello. Yep. Hi. I'm good, good, and you? I am well. You'll pardon some of us who look like Bushmen. <laughs> oh, the quarantine season, right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. Baba in our Thank you so much for availing yourself. I that, that's the you know now you're going back to your roots. We need to know how you look like with hair, with all the beard, with everything. We want to see that. <laughs> oh Jesus! Listen to this child. <laughs> may he look up. May he look down upon me. Anyway. Ah. Thank you so much. I will let you introduce yourself. So, hi guys. Um, today I'm doing this very differently, as you can see. We are having a Zoom call with the one and only. Okay, he will introduce himself. So, thank you so much for clicking on this video and kindly subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, we are gonna get good content. So, let's hand it over to you, Elaine. So, tell us who you are. Who are you? What do you do? All right. Um, I'm. I, I don't know. You're saying good content. I wonder. Um, how long has this been? Uh, a, a waiting for type of thing. So I'm just like, oh, okay. Uh, ah, yeah. yes, Val. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Um. My name is Ishimwe Ala. Uh, some people call me Alain, some people call me Alan. It all depends with uh, what's <laughs> your preference. Um, what do I do? Um, I'm a disciple. La. Hey. All I'm right. A, a disciple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I tend to, I tend to look at myself and and. Uh, and just say, okay, fine, you know, if God came and said we're all ministers of the gospel, then I look at myself as a disciple because I do get discipled and the knowledge is not instilled just within me. I have to share it out as well. So, yeah, apart from, yeah, disciple. So, basically, uh, coach one with the John Maxwell team. Um, I serve with um, Mavuna Church as one of the pastors uh, under the services team. Um, yeah, and I love basketball. I think and oh, cooking, amazing. yeah, yeah. Hey, so you can throw down, you can throw down a meal. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. That I totally agree with you. Um, yeah. yeah, fantastic. I mean, you know, maybe... And I love, yeah, I love how you you introduced yourself as a disciple. Because in my last identity video, when I was talking about identity, I was like, okay. "Who are you deep down?" You know, people always start with their whatever positions they hold but i'm happy you've started with exactly who you are and then your positions and all the things you do came in later so i see i see i see amazing so yes, yes. uh i know you're not kenyan but most people might not know so tell us where are you from really i don't know i, I look at myself even right now that i'm looking at myself i'm like okay a lot of people yeah. say i'm Luo, so um <laughs> Already been I don't even know what you're talking about. No, I haven't been given a kind of name, but um, it's that space where people say that I'm low. So uh, it's very nice to meet you. You know that. Huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I, I tried, but I'm still trying to practice. And uh, maybe one day, one day I'll get it so that I'll actually just be able to to sell it. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not Kenyan. I'm actually from Rwanda. Kigali. But my home time is actually Gisenyi. So, yeah. Uh, I'm Rwandan by blood, by so nationality. So, you can like, drop Rwandi's lines over here? Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I'll ask you. I'll ask you to, like, say something in Rwandi. So, that, does that mean you also know French? Um, yes, uh, at least not um, fully, but at least I can be able to hold a conversation with someone. Um, mm -hmm. I can be able to understand them. Um, uh, I don't know why. It's like this. It's a stereotypical thing that every person who's from Rwanda needs to know French. It's like yeah. it's like saying, uh, what? I don't know. How can I put this? 
like rush like r- r- russian people yeah they need to know russian of course but it's like saying oh do you know english because most of the time that's most of the true languages that they get to know unless they get to speak other language outside but um for us english system yes wa- was brought up uh, a few a few years back a few decades I can say yeah so uh, but i didn't get the opportunity to study in french like most of uh either my either old friends older friends than i am or my parents so they did for me I, first of all i didn't get the opportunity to study in my own country so yeah yeah so that mm. means um you've been in kenya for a while right I've been in Kenya for a while but it's not the longest that I've been. Yeah. Do you understand Swahili? Mm. Ah, definitely. Like right now <laughs> there's no way you try to well, backbite me and think or say something and I won't hear. Right? I would understand you. <laughs> yes, I will understand you fully. The next question I'm asking in Swahili. So, okay, fine. Let's see. Let's see if I can actually hack it myself. <laughs> so, anyway, Nataka kujua ni mnyama wow, okay. gani um someone asks you which animal resonates with you which animal would you would you would you say that is you like if someone says okay the way for myself if someone says munini and an elephant i'm like yes that's it that's it so which one is yours um i actually have two mhm Um one I think I love I love lions the 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 jungle mentality the you know being a cat and not being the biggest cat or the strongest cat or the fastest cat um yeah. but it's 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 um its presence of leadership and its presence of command and when it arrives literally just people just know hey yo hey the king is over here man so we got to go yeah. <laughs> but um that's one and then I love also the ego um why the ego is because of how it's so so high um then you find that it goes to places uh no other birds can be able to go to and that's what i look up to to actually tr- go to places that probably people feel they cannot get to and tell yeah. them hey um it's it's a, you you don't have a barrier you can actually be able to get there like mm-hmm. i want to be that person who can be able to say there is no boundary that you can um that you can block off that someone does not have the mind or the ability to exceed for as long as God is with them so yeah. where people tell you oh bro that, that you can't get there you like achievements by self yes might not be possible but with God everything is possible eh hey, fantastic i love that i actually love that and those are the two most powerful um animals in the kingdom because one is like for flying and one is online but they're all so like they just have this majestic thing going on in them fantastic I agree so thank you. you for that so we are going we are entering the next stage which is i'd like to know you more better i'd like to know you better team more better really munini anyway um i want to understand you've actually said you're a coach with john maxwell so congratulations that is so good that's actually a very good achievement but so you're a coach but you of course you have people you look up to or people who inspire you so do you mind sharing with us who you look up to or who is that person who inspires you in any other thing related to your life <sighs> inspires me related to my life that's an interesting question um for me growing up um I've never been around people who actually can be able to exercise my own self potential and actually make me release it um to the level that I've got to right now. So the first people that actually inspire me to exercise myself and make me want to blossom. First of all, I would like to really 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 I think thank Dr. um Donald Smith, the founder of um uh Daystar University. When we had the conversations every time at his place um about leadership and its context to the bible for me i think the people that mentored me not even just about leadership because i was a leader during that time but even about life how do i get to portray myself 
in society and not have a double sided meaning i'm a leader yes i'm still normal i'm still me and as elaine as well who's a basketballer i am still me as well so i think that's one person that i can i can actually say he, he nurtured us very well um i and the team um that we actually um did go through uh, the whole leadership one year together i think that that for me was really amazing um the next person i think i look up to is pastor jero himself um oh. there is no why he's such a charismatic person um yeah. why i'm going to say this the first time i met him and he was all charismatic and everything i thought maybe okay this guy puts it on for the outside before even any he was a pastor I was like hey this is a a very young vibrant uh, gentleman who's working for God and you know he's showing and I'm like oh this is a good percept that you actually want someone to look at look at and say hey this guy is really it and when I got to know his pastor I was like oh okay that's interesting I'm like oh he's nice and uh, more enthusiastic about what he does but yeah. now I I had never known him outside the working space or even outside the church but when he was able to invite me into his own home and able to show me this is how i live this is like me outside and me on the inside is the same person me with you and with me with my kids is just the same person for me i sat down and i was like oh wow that's that's very very influential because it's not like as if we're saying that oh he's a perfect man but he yeah. gets to share his life with you and he's not going to share about it he's going to tell you hey this is how i did things um i'm not perfect that i actually say that I'm, no this is how i got here and that's mm-hmm. trusting god and i look at my life and i'm like at the same space i'd want to get into because yeah. as a guy who desires to get married soon as well it's that space where i'm like what values am i going to portray within my family that even my kids or even people outside can be able to see and be like hey there's a god inside that family or there's a god inside that man or there's a god inside that lady because i know it's christ who's centered on everything so for me i think most influential as much as yes we have all these mentors uh yeah. all these people that we get to listen to but if we talk about people from the outside uh who have actually impacted my life as well the zig ziglar zig ziglar says amazing things um zig ziglar was actually a good friend with the, the late dr mars monroe and also dr mars monroe is one person who i find so influential i'm just like oh wow this guy just speaks his mind this guy just speaks and says this is who i am and he doesn't have this aspect of where he's trying to hide it or but he actually gets the principles that he understands from leadership and he expresses them just that way with his life so for me i found that very very inspirational mm, fantastic i like that and they have a concept of family as well they are in the concept of leadership so all that encompasses and actually guides you in future um fantastic thank you so much for that i love that um the other thing is um you've mentioned being a leader and a christian right so and in this generation and age people are all about oh i'm living the life i'm going to do this so how are you actually managing to be to stand strong in those two pillars cuz it's not an easy journey to be honest especially as a young person i agree with you because you know there's a uh, there is this um notion that there is a suit that everyone has to put on for yeah. being a leader um <laughs> and there's an outfit that you're supposed to fit into and then i think one day something reminded me when i was a leader back in daystar and i thought okay because now i have so much power i get to actually do whatever i desire but i got to find out that truly this is where I learn not even me thinking that I'm best or me thinking that I have the power to do this or that but this is a space that I now get to learn I like I and I and learn everything I knew and I have to learn again why because if you get into leadership and let the chair define you then what happens is when things get tough believe you me you're going to be pushed to a corner because you won't know how to exercise yourself and be who you are Exactly. But if you get to go there and be the one that defines the chair. Be the one that models and says this is what leadership means like so that the next person has a different view and they're like oh 
I have the ability to do it too. It's not to say, okay, this is what I do. And then people look at it and they say, hey, that's too difficult, man. But it's that space where you're saying, hey, let me define it. So if I am myself, if I am principled to myself, I am disciplined to who I am. And I'm not acting like someone else. I'm not trying to copy like someone else, but I'm just who I am. And this who I am is led by Christ. Why am I saying led by Christ? Because Christ was the best leader. If, if, if I look at it, me, I don't see any other leader that actually was better than Christ. Why? He modeled how to disciple. He modeled how to lead others. He modeled how to care for others. He modeled how to love. Like he, this guy had a principle for his life and he even modeled how to pray for everything that he did. And I think that's the space that we get to um, differentiate between us and Christ sometimes when in leadership. Because as a human, I want to just do everything and anything because I have the power to. But if I'm to pray about my leadership position, if I'm to pray about what I'm to do in my life, if I'm to pray about who I'm, who, how I'm to lead the people and what are my daily tasks so that everyone can actually see this, then it becomes different. But if I impose it on myself and say, this is what I want to do, believe you me, sometimes in our head, we get to think a lot of things. And if we're not careful, as the book of Proverbs says, you know, if we're not careful, the the mind is very crazy and the heart is deceitful so, so true. you so need true. wisdom you need yeah. wisdom to be able to to lead people because if you just do it by yourself believe you me there's a place you're going to get and you're going to stop it's going to be a plateau and if it becomes a plateau then you run out of options but imagine if you have so many relationships with so many people then you actually get more ideas more and more ideas that are coming your way and for me i think I take leadership as real success and to be a real success there are things there are like four things that you look at 